Hi everyone and welcome to a very special video hop. Today we, paper crafters, are uniting against racism in a wonderful, wonderful video hop organized by Justine Hovey. I will link everything below so you can find Justine's blog and video links and there will be a full lineup there. There is a huge, huge lineup of incredible crafters and we're all going to make cars and videos to just kind of show everyone that racism doesn't have a place in the crafting industry. We just, you know, it's, well, actually, scratch that. Racism doesn't have room anywhere. We need to get rid of it. I, I, I cannot, I don't have any words for people who think that other people, based on their skin color or where they come from, think that those people are worth less than they are. They're just, I have some very strong choice words and but I'm not going to use them because then I will probably be censored and taken off. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to focus on the positive and uh, although I say that and then I'm going to go into my terrible, terrible skin tone Copic coloring. I usually when I do coloring, I, I have like a little bit of scrap piece of paper to make sure that I can just kind of mix and match a few colors and test them before I put them down on my card. This image is from Picket Fence Studios and it's called BFF My Tribe. And I thought it was just perfect for this uh, video hop because there's, you know, lots of hands and probably women because they have nails and I'm gonna paint them and you know, then lots of them have jewelry. So I had the idea of doing loads and loads and loads of different skin colors and skin tones to kind of make sure that everyone is represented. But skin tones is, like I said, not my, it's definitely not my forte. It's not my strong suit whatsoever. So I am gonna have to do some serious human rainbow coloring practice, which is, it's a good thing that the daily coloring challenge is starting again on the 1st of July. So I will definitely be practicing this uh, for that. But um, as you see, I can, I'm trying here and we are gonna hop into a bit of a time lapse later on. Uh, but I have laid out so many Copics and I use so many of them. And I'm, I'm hoping that I managed to get every single one of my friends skin tones incorporated and represented because I really wanted to show just, you know, how inclusive I would like the world to be. As you can see from my coloring, that uh, or it will become more evident, is this is one of the reasons why I don't do very many faces because my copy coloring when it comes to faces especially is just terrible. I'm, yeah, I'm really sorry, my friends. But as I said, the, this is just hand, so it's slightly easier and it doesn't kind of matter so much. But on this particular image, I wanted to have the lighter skin tones sort of under and the darker ones on top to just really kind of show, you know, we're all here, we're lifting each other up and we're all in this together. And then of course, because I cannot not use a rainbow, everybody got a different color shirt. And this is one of my favorite letter die cuts. This one is from MFT Stamps. It's the Stitched Letter Dynamics. And I cut out uh, the words better together and I used pastels for the better. And then for the together, I used a different skin tone based cardstock. Some of these are from Lawn Fawn and some are from a paper card pack that I have. It's just all basically like pastel -y colors. So uh, I wanted the together, I wanted the T and the art on the end to kind of be white colors so that all the friends are together. We all kind of there backing everybody up and you're not going to get to our friends unless you go through us. And here's a little hack to get your letters on straight. And after very, very many projects with wonky letters, I always do this now. I use my work mat with the grids, a ruler and some post-it tape to keep everything in one spot. And then I glue everything down whilst the ruler is in place and then I don't actually remove it until everything is dry. So here uh, I'm also, because I want to make sure that the together is sort of flat in the middle, flat in the middle, uh, spot on in the middle maybe, I started with uh, one of the middle letters, so the E, and then tried to sort of place that where I thought well, the middle was going to be and then I built my letters out to the left and the right. 
And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to glue them all down with the Lawn Fawn liquid glue tube, which is probably my favorite liquid glue at the moment. And then when all that's dry, you just remove your ruler and your post-it tape and your card is done. Well, I did think it was done, but then I decided to add a few little gold details to like the bracelets and the watches um, and things just to kind of, you know, bring it up a little notch. And then I did think the card was done, but then I had another idea. So I die cut a black heart out of a black card stock, or die cut a black card, I die cut a heart out of black card stock. And then on top of this, I'm going to heat emboss BLM for the Black Lives Matter movement. And this is going to be heat embossed in white and added on top of the hands in the middle. Just to kind of almost like a, um, like a team call almost, you know, like all, everyone's together. What do we stand for? Black Lives Matter. Racism must end. Yes. All that good stuff. So that uh, is heat embossed and then we rub off the extra anti-static treatment to make sure that the cardstock is all nice and black again. And with a few little bits of foam tape added at the back of this card, back of the card, back of the heart, and then added to the card, this was all done. I hope you really, really enjoyed this card. And if you want to grab this, any of the stuff that I've used, I will link that all down below with some affiliate links. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would do so and give this little video a thumbs up before you hop on to the next person in the lineup. The link to the next video is the first link at the top in the description. So it should be super easy to find. Thanks again so much for stopping by today and uh, I will hopefully see you very soon. Enjoy the rest of the hop.